What's the matter, Baggy? Are you coming to play or not? Are you sulky? No, it's just that Baloo is a real pain in the neck when he wants to be. Oh, he always does the teacher thing a bit, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, he had the cheek to tell me that I was lazy, when it's him who sleeps all the time. And you're sulking for that? He's always telling me, you should put on some Jimson weed essence because the yellowtail moth that's swarming in the jungle is very bad for your skin, man-cub. <laughs> <laughs> you imitate him really well. There, get a whiff of this nice smell. Yuck! <laughs> oh, that stinks! <laughs> it's true that Baloo's not his normal self at the moment. Well, that's because he's in love. <laughs> really? It wouldn't be with a big fat bear called Bella by any chance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they give each other little bear kisses? <laughs> Can you hear anything? No. What should I be hearing? Normally you can hear snufflings, growlings, but now nothing. A jungle with no noise is not natural. Come on! Hey, Rana! This is no time to be sleeping. Rana! Doesn't stink like he usually does. You mean he has a nice stink? <laughs> <laughs> if you think that old smoke is a nice stink, yes, he has a nice stink. Everything's still silent. Come on, we'll go and find Baloo. Baloo! Baloo! Bah, he's very busy elsewhere. At least like that, he's not on our backs all day. You're right. We'll find out what's happening without him. <gasps> you see, there is still someone making a noise in the jungle. What's happened to Parvo? Did you knock him out, Fula? I didn't do a thing. I came down from the tree to try and get away from that idiot, and I found Parvo like this. It's impossible to wake him up. I wasn't hounding her, I was chatting. He smells smoke, just like Rana. Leave him alone, let him die in peace. He's not dying, he's... Mowgli, he's going to live, isn't he? Of course he is, Mina, he's just very tired, that's all. You'd be better depending on a real peacock. One who's strong, very much alive, and rather magnificent. <laughs> Second time we've seen this in the jungle. It's strange. We were in a tree too, and we're wide awake. That means that everyone who was on the ground has become a victim of the smoke? Of what? I don't know, but come on, Bagheera. We'll go and find out. Take your time. Mina and I have some things to talk over. Please hurry, Mowgli. What's that? Maybe it's Baloo. Oh, well, our best enemies. There's that smoky smell again. Look at that. I bet they were talking about you. Which gives me an idea. <laughs> now they're all tied together. I wonder how long they'll be able to stand each other. <laughs> Chanda! She smells just like the others. Where's Chota? Just a minute. If Shere Khan's not asleep, like us, he'll attack defenseless animals like Chota. We've got to stop him from taking advantage of the situation. It'd be perfect if he were asleep too. Oh! Ooh, I thought it was Shere Khan. She doesn't smell of smoke like the others. What happened to you, Darcy? <laughs> oh, she probably forgot to flap her wings. I... Uh, aren't you asleep? I've seen some animals asleep around here somewhere. And have you seen Shere Khan? Uh, yes. No, yes, yes. He was walking. I can't remember where. On the mountain. Whatever, he wasn't asleep anyway. That sounds right. He was up high and wasn't affected like the others. We've got to solve this mystery before Shere Khan starts a massacre! Did you see where the smoke was coming from? Look, I don't understand why you stick by that wimpy peacock who goes to sleep all the time. It's not his fault! Right. 
I'll count to three, and if he doesn't wake up, we'll have a kiss. One. You must be joking. Two, three. There, that's it. He's had his chance, now it's time for a kiss. No! Huh? One kiss, Mina. Just one kiss, please, stop, please, just one kiss. <laughs> What have we here? Leave him alone! Help him, Fooler! Peacock meat's always tasty. Did you see where the smoke was coming from? I think so. What's the matter with this peacock? If you heard him, you'd better watch out for Mowgli. Mowgli? He's coming back to save Pavo. His meat is sure to be tastier than this moldy peacock. Ha! Huh, I agree with you there. And where is Mowgli? Don't think I'm going to tell you. <laughs> He's going to find out where the smoke is coming from. So that's what put these stupid animals to sleep. Right, smoke can only come from one place. What are you doing? Leave him alone! That smell, it's coming from over there, from the human village. What if it was that smoke that put the animals to sleep? Quick, Baggy, protect yourself! Oh, oh, I think I've breathed some in. <coughs> I recognize the smell. It's Jimson weed. That's what Baloo made me put on my skin to keep off the yellowtail moth. Well, the humans are burning it, probably for the same reason. Except that the smoke puts the jungle animals to sleep, but the smell of the essence just keeps them away. Oh. Quick, Bagheera, you're starting to fall asleep. You've got to get away from the village. Well, man cub, have you found where the smoke is coming from? Yes, and you've found a way of hunting sleeping animals. How brave! It looks like your friend Bagheera isn't feeling too well. He's going to have a hard time defending you. <laughs> Here, Bagheera. Uh, the smoke has stopped. Wait a bit, Mowgli. I need a rest. Oh, Chota. 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 Bagheera, thank you for finding my little Chota. has a girlfriend now. Ah, you overthink sometimes, Mowgli. <laughs> Hi! I don't get it. Didn't we have a great plan for trapping Mowgli? I think it's Mowgli who trapped us. I told you we shouldn't all meet here. You coward! I'll never kiss you! Pavo's in Shere Khan's stomach, so you don't really have a choice. <laughs> ah! Surprise. <gasps> oh. It's a good job you arrived. Your Mina wouldn't leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> That's a good idea. You never know, the moths might come back. And I asked Rangu, who lives near the human village, to warn us as soon as they light another fire. At the first sign of smoke, everyone must either climb a tree or leave. That way, no one will fall asleep. What's the matter, Baloo? Nothing. Well, there is something. 
Somebody put some flowers in my paws. <laughs> well, didn't she like them? No. Bella's allergic to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> under there either. And I've been searching the riverbank for hours. You don't happen to know where I can find a... What's that? A crocodile nest! <laughs> a good morning to you, too. <laughs> no! I'm not your mum. I'm a man cub. Stay here all by yourself. Come on. <laughs> Perfect. Now we've got a crocodile eggshell. We're all set for our lesson. First, say hello to my new friend. <laughs> a crocodile? He's called Nibbly. <laughs> Isn't he funny? <laughs> Nibbly, don't. <laughs> You're tickling me. <laughs> Will you please take, uh, what's his name, back to its nest so we can start our lesson? Take him back? But I can't. He was all alone. And Sheil was preying on him. His mother can't have been far away. Crocodiles always take good care of their hatchlings. <sighs> all right. If you'd say so. Hurry up. The sun is already high and we haven't even started our lesson. And stay put until your mum comes back. Oh, I don't want to leave you either. But you heard Baloo. Take care. Hey, Nibbly! <laughs> now don't you move. <laughs> You're a stubborn little fellow, aren't you? <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Stop it. I've got to think. What am I going to do with you during my lesson? I've got to go. Baloo's waiting. Be a good little croc and eat up your lunch. I'll be back by the time you've finished. And this is only one of the 3,000 sorts of lizard eggs to be found in the jungle. Please note, it's amazingly tough and leathery shell, which differs strikingly from the... Thank you, Baloo. That was fascinating. I loved every word. In that case, you can tell me which one is a turtle's egg. A turtle's egg? Oh, easy peasy. Let's see. Mm. Uh, this one. And an eagle. This one. Cobra? This one. Can I go now? All right. Run along. We'll continue this afternoon. <clears throat> Bagheera, you didn't... Oh, yeah, you must be hungry after that brilliant lesson. <laughs> mm. Nibbly, I'm back! Where are you? Safe and sound. You gave me such a fright. I can't leave you alone for a single minute. And I've got another lesson this afternoon. We need help. I know. A croc sitter. Oh, but who? With pleasure, Mowgli. Nibbly will be nice and safe with Uncle Carr. <laughs> Thank you, Carr. Great. That's awfully kind. Now I know I can rely on you. Oh, of course. We'll have great fun together. Oops. Oh, no. Come here. That's it. Oh, I've lost it. Icky. Too gossipy. Ricky Tikitavi. Too scatterbrain. Pond.
Sonia. Now she can hardly look after herself. The monkeys? Far too foolish. Hey, what's this? The monkeys may not be bad croc sitters after all. Red croc sitters. <laughs> Trusting you with the red crocodile. <laughs> the red crocodile. At last! This is a great day for the Bandalock. And you'll take good care of him, won't you? Of course. He is very dear to us. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's the crocodile of the legend. What legend? A red crocodile will come. A creature with extraordinary powers. The power to chase Thu and his poison people from the Middle Kingdom and restore the underground realm to its rightful rulers, the Bandalog. No, no, it's a mistake. Nibley isn't a red crocodile. He's an ordinary baby crocodile. You tricked us! I, I didn't mean to. It's just that... Wait! How dare you! No, listen. I saw crocodiles approaching the cold lair, looking for Nibley. You must leave. You tricked us once. It's not going to work twice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats honey for a delicious meal. <laughs> Howdy! The Bandalog! Something's amiss in the cold lair! to see you. Now, would you mind explaining what... <laughs> Explanations can wait. We've got to get out of here fast. Right. But how? There are dozens of monkeys searching all over the cold lair. Nothing short of a miracle will get us out of here. A miracle? Or a whole lot of angry crocodiles? Huh? <laughs> Away. 
She'll look after him. Bye, Nibbly. 